If you're like me and you like to give handmade gifts but you don't always have time to sew, I've got a great idea for you. Meet Odie Coat, it's a waterproof fabric laminator and today I'm going to show you how to make a no sew applique and I'm also going to show you how easy it is to frame. For this project I'm using our Quinn the Quokka applique designed by my daughter Alora Poole and we also have a huge range of applique patterns that would be perfect for this project. You'll find Odie Coat in craft and patchwork and quilting stores and I'll put a link in the description just so that you can read more about it. Here's how it works. Apply your applique shapes onto the background fabric using fusible web. If you've never used fusible web before, I also have a tutorial on this and the link is in the description. Next, paint Odie coat over the entire piece. Allow to dry, which takes a couple of hours. When dry, press with parchment paper or non-stick baking paper. Repeat the process two more times. After the third coat, your work will have a slightly glossy finish. This is an inexpensive frame that I purchased. It's 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters or 12 inches by 16 inches. First of all, I'm going to take the frame apart. Take the glass and position it over the applique design so that your applique is nice and centered. Normally, I like to do my applique on a 20 inch square but I really liked this colour and it was only 17 inches, but I can still get this to work. Once I have my glass piece centred, I'm just going to mark all the way around the edge. We're now going to discard the glass because we're actually not going to use that in the frame. On your ironing board, flip your applique piece over to the wrong side and fold back on the marked line. Using your baking paper or parchment paper, press a crease and do this all the way around the edge of the design. Now open out the edges and position the backing board of the frame inside the creases. We're now going to tape this in place, but you may just need to cut out where your little hooks are to hang the picture up. To hold our applique in place, we're just going to use some cloth tape. First of all, I'm just going to position some tape on opposite edges just to hold it in place. To finish, pop your applique back in the frame. So that was a really fun, quick, easy project. One thing I did forget to mention is that I used a permanent marking pen to mark in some of the extra detail on the quokka. Just make sure that you test the pen that you're using with the Odie Coat first of all. The other thing I like about Odie Coat is that it has stiffened up the fabric, so that makes it perfect for putting into a frame. It's not going to sag at all. And um, I love the glossy finish that it's given to the picture. And if it does get a little bit dusty, you can just easily wipe that over with a damp cloth. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.